My great-grandmother was a refugee. When she was born, her name was Urania Nikolaides, and she was Greek, but she grew up in Turkey in the city of Smyrna. Her family was pretty wealthy. Her family owned a pretty prosperous store, and she dressed in the height of fashion. In 1922, the Greek government made a deal with the Ottoman Empire basically to resettle all the Greeks living in Turkey and all the Turks living in Greece. And what this meant for my great-grandmother is that in September of 1922, the Ottoman army attacked her town. They burned Greek-owned businesses, and they killed civilians. My great-grandmother was separated from her family, and she was forced to hide out in a cemetery for three days before she could find shelter. Eventually, she was shipped to a refugee camp in Mytilene, a city in the Greek islands. Ironically, that's where her family used to go on vacation. While she was at the refugee camp, she met my great-grandfather, Leonidas Arhondi. His wife had just died, and he was looking for somebody to help him raise his baby daughter. They agreed to marry in what was essentially a business deal. My great-grandmother was 15 years old at the time. The U.S. had just initiated a quota system for immigrants from Southern Europe, so my great-grandparents had to wait about a month for the proper documents to move to America. But eventually, they settled in Massachusetts and made a life for themselves there. My great-grandparents had a pretty loving and respectful marriage, and my great-grandmother learned English, volunteered for the Red Cross, and cooked elaborate Greek meals for her children and grandchildren. She couldn't afford the latest fashions anymore, but she would make colorful dresses for herself and her daughter by hand. It's been 95 years since my great-grandmother was forced out of her home, and what astonishes me is that there are Syrian and Afghan refugees living in Mytilene, the same place that my great-grandmother stayed. If you can part with any money this year, I would strongly encourage you to make a donation to the UNHCR, the UN's refugee agency. The UNHCR makes refugees' lives a little bit easier. They build temporary shelters so people don't have to sleep outside. They help find schools for kids and teenagers like my great-grandmother, whose education is interrupted. And they lobby governments to help resettle refugees who just want to move on with their lives. I put a few links down in the doobly-doo. You can go to the UNHCR website to make a donation, or just to learn a little bit more about what they do. I also put a link to the Project for Awesome, a charity event where you can vote on who you support. And if you're curious to learn more about my great-grandmother, I put a link to a podcast episode I wrote about her. Happy Project for Awesome, everybody. See you again soon.